Hey, 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 what's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and for you guys lucky enough to watch this video, it is going to be about the scanf function. Now, the scanf function is opposite from the printf function, whereas the printf function pretty much delivers output, and the scanf function helps with input. It helps with the user being able to input values into variables for different results in the output of the program, which is kind of nice. So scan help, scan f is with input, and printf is with output. Now, with further ado, let me got, show you guys an example. So I'm going to have two ints. I'm going to have an int Rodney, and I'm going to have an int Quinn. He's a very smart man, I know. And I'm going to make Quinn... 99. I'm going to make Quinn just 0 because I'm going to initialize it because it's always good to initialize your variables to see. And I'm going to make Rodney 0 as well. I don't know anybody named Rodney, but I do probably wish my son would be named Rodney. I think it would be cool and nobody would bully him because of that. Um, okay, now scanf, what, what scanf is going to do is it's going to look for input from the user to be able to read the variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something similar to printf where I'm gonna scan for two I'm gonna scan for two integers. Now what I'm gonna do here is different from anything you've ever seen in C, if this is your first time. I'm gonna be using the address symbol, which is an ampersand, and after I type this out I will try to explain more. And I definitely will explain this more in detail when I get to pointers, which is something else you guys need to learn. But basically what this does is that for the scanf function to change the values of these, it does not only need the variable name, but it means it needs the address. So the address is where the variable is located in actual computer memory. So think of memory in a computer as one huge array. Remember we use these arrays as an array with millions and or maybe billions of elements, just a 1D array. And so every which is the array is just made with bits and bytes. And each different applications and different things takes up certain memory in that array and variables are stored in different places in that huge computer memory array and so the address symbol gets the actual kind of index or number that it's stored at it could be for instance like 2,222,000 or something like that or something a little bit more different but that's what the address symbol does and you do need that for the scanf operation and what we're going to do here is we're going to add two numbers together the addition of Rodney and Quinn is, I'm going to do a percent D, and I'm going to do Rodney plus Quinn. So I'm going to add those together, and I'm going to print that out. So let's run this function and see if it works. Nothing came up, but what I have to do is it's giving me now a cursor to put in the side of the console. And let's do 12 plus 13. Remember, remember it's separated a space because it must match the scanf format. And I'm going to press enter. And the addition of Rodney and Quinn is 25. Well, boom, bada, bing. It seemed it works. And so if I ran this again, I could get, I could again do 33 and 44 and get different output. Let's see if I did something insane like this. I get 232 because it did not read the second the second uh, input because it was expecting an integer and did not get that. So it just used the quin value of zero. So it was 232 plus zero. Well, guys, so yes, as you can see here, the scanf function can scan in anything that printf can print out with control D. It could do control C if you just wanted to do characters. And I believe, let's see if this works because because characters also can be um, numbers too. So as you can see, C is 11, is 11. And let's see, let's print it out as a character. So let's see if we can do this. So what did I do last time? I did C and I did 11 and C plus 11 is N. So that means N is the 14th letter of the alphabet. I think that makes sense. Hopefully I'm right on that. And yeah, guys, so that's how you can do it. You can evaluate other things as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you know you appreciate how good ScanF is, and I'm glad I finally got to this.